Hello there and welcome to our week ending episode of Who Has Sports today. As we look towards the start of the 2011 2012 Premier League season, thankfully this off season wasn't as boring because we had the Asia tours of Arsenal, Liverpool, and Chelsea, plus the Copa America. But it's now that we get back into gear for what's said to be one of the most tightly contested seasons. Well, don't we all say that at the start of every other season? Now, despite the full fixtures only gets underway next week, we have the traditional charity shield match between the league champions and the FA Cup winners. And in the past 10 years, it's been the original Big Four who have won it. The three that visited Malaysia last month have all won it twice, Liverpool, Chelsea and Arsenal, while Manchester United have taken it four times. But this season, things seem a little different. I seriously feel that it will be the battle of the two Manchesters all season long. Finally, the blue half of Manchester have risen, albeit with a lot of Middle Eastern dinar to catch up with their red neighbours. Not in the silverware department, but in other areas. They already have a stadium thanks to the Commonwealth Games, but the dinar is still paying the interest on it, aren't they? And I believe it is now called the Etihad Arena. And there's the manager, the players and the other accessories that make you a big club. We'll get to that in a minute, but based on their proven performance, don't discount Manchester United. 19 times champion and pretty much the dominant force ever since the inception of the Premier League. But there's a lot been said about the current rebuilding process with the retirement and removal of some old tired legs. A new goalkeeper to replace Van der Sar, some cover at the back with Phil Jones now that O'Shea and also Wes Brown have left to Sunderland. And Ashley Young probably to be used as Ryan Giggs' replacement. And let's not forget, they are close to hunting down Inter Milan's Wesley Schneider. Ferguson desperately needs an influential figure in the middle of the park. But what we do know is that come the Christmas period, United always move up a gear. And from what I've seen over the seasons, the more frequently United play, the better they become. And that's coupled with the Champions League and Domestic Cup competitions. Manchester City, meanwhile, have been spending ridiculous amounts of money. Besides the superstars that are already in their stable, they've brought in more sturdy cover at the back. And their star purchase, Sergio Aguero, for £35 million. But United have been one of the most successful brands in the world of sport. They have a fantastic stadium, the cabinet is overflowing with trophies and have players who become instant endorsement magnets. Like Air Asia when they sponsored United, even plastered the branding all over their aircraft. But stop the press. Manchester City may not have the trophies yet, but they have the players and are catching up on their status as one of the big boys. And now, even their own plane. Watch this brief making of Manchester City's aeroplane. Spectacular. Well, if you have it, then flaunt it. And here's another example of how they have improved in terms of image and style. Just watch how the teams are welcomed into the, into the city stadium. got some style, haven't they? That just leaves me to say that whether it is City or Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool or even the rest, the best of the rest, the chasing pack will have to obtain as many points as possible before the Christmas run of fixtures if they want to have any chance of keeping up with what United are capable of doing in the second half of the season. Now, will this curtain razor matchup prove to be the precursor to what we can expect for the rest of the season? Well, we just have to wait and see. And with that, you have a great sporting weekend ahead. I'm Patrick from the team at Wuha Sports saying it's bye for now. Oh,